In this video, I'm going to show you how it can be extremely easy to add contacts from LinkedIn right into HubSpot with just one click. So here you can see we're in LinkedIn now. I looked up the co-founder of Hublead, um, Julien, and I'm going to add him to my HubSpot. So with Hublead here, you can see that we have this extra window. I click create contact. It's gonna work on it for a second. And here we go. Julien has been added to my HubSpot. Um, I'm automatically added as the contact owner. Lifecycle stage is added to lead as uh, by default. Um, the company is added and if I want, I can even enrich the email address and phone number here by just clicking on enrich. And it's going to give me some options for both his email address and his phone number. So I'm going to click this, confirm, and now that information is added as well. It's as simple as that. I can click right here to check how it has been added to my HubSpot account. And we can see that all of the information is here. And there has even been made a link um, with his LinkedIn profile as well, making it really easy to go to his LinkedIn profile in the future. In the rest of this video, I'll go over how you can easily set this up, the different ways that you can add people from LinkedIn to HubSpot. We'll also go into some details of the different features that Hublead has to offer, like for example, also easily syncing your LinkedIn messages so you don't have to copy paste these anymore. And then a bonus at the end, I'll also show you my social selling dashboard. Now, how do we actually set this up? Let's have a quick look here because it's really easy to do. Um, I'm using an Arc browser, which is also a Chrome-based browser, uh, but you can obviously also just use Google Chrome. We'll go to the Chrome Web Store and we search for Hub Leads. So here we can see I already did that. We're on the Hub Lead page and then we just click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and then we just click Try Hub Lead. Now here you will see it also prompts me to now connect Hub Lead to HubSpot. So we're going to do that as well. I'm gonna click Connect Hub Lead. I'm gonna choose the account that I need, connect the app, and now Hub Lead is all good to go. Now here you can see that um, I already have Bastian added to my HubSpot account. So we get this extra window here that shows us all of the information that Hublead actually synced. Um, here we can see the contact owner in HubSpot, the lifecycle stage, the company, and also the email address and phone number as information that we see by default here. And then we can add some additional properties at the bottom as well, which you can set up here under edit properties. But at this point, you're basically good to go and you can start using Hub Leads. Now I have already shown you how you can easily add a lead right from LinkedIn. Um, next, I'm also gonna show you how this works in Sales Navigator as well. So let's go to Brian Nichols' uh, LinkedIn profile in Sales Navigator. Um, as you can see, I loaded this page before Hublead was set up. So right now we don't see the window here, but if I quickly refresh this page, you can see that we now have Hublead here as well. So I'm just gonna click the same way as we did this in LinkedIn on create contact. And now we can see that Brian has been added to our LinkedIn account with all of the information here, including his photo. Then we can click on enrich to see if we have any uh, further information from Brian. So let's say we want to add his uh, email address and phone number here. We're gonna confirm this. And then at the bottom, you can also see additional properties. So these are properties that you can choose yourself. For example, um, let's say I want to add another property here. I already have contact type and freelance expertise. I'm gonna add another pro property, um, one that I have called VIP. I'm gonna search this. We're gonna save it. And now if I want to update this property right from LinkedIn, I can also do this. So I just click that he's a VIP. And now this property is also updated um, in HubSpot as well. So if we go to HubSpot to check this, here we can see we have all of the information that has been added. And then here on the left side, we can see that he has indeed been added uh, to the VIP list as well. Um, by setting this property to yes. So that's how it easily also works in Sales Navigator as well. Now, 
for messages. Um, so here we get into the more detailed features. If I go back to uh, Julien's page here, and let's say I want to send Julien a message. I'm gonna send this message to Julien. Um, you can see that it will um, start syncing the message through Hublead with HubSpot. So that has been done now. Now if I go back to this contact here and I refresh, you can see that this information now has been added to Julien's contact information here in HubSpot as well. So it can be as easy as that. And this is also information that we can use for reporting as well, something I will get into at the end of this video. Oh, we can see that um, Julien already answered. Uh, you may want to discuss that with, Brit, with Bastian. That's something I already did, so we took care of that. But now we can see these messages have also been synced. And when we go back here in HubSpot, you can see that these replies are also here. So it was nice for Julia to reply that fast, so we could demo this as well. Next, I'm going to show you how we can easily sync new information from LinkedIn to HubSpot for existing contacts within HubSpot as well. So we'll go back to our sales navigator for Julia here. Um, I'm gonna refresh this so that we have our hub lead information here. Now, if I click relink, so for example, when we have a contact that already exists in HubSpot, but the link is not visible here yet, we can do this the exact same way. So when I click relink, we have the option to search for possible matches within our HubSpot. So when I type in his name, click on search, it will search my HubSpot, it finds him here, and I can say link contact, and it will then update all of the latest information within HubSpot as well. If this person is part of multiple companies right now, you will even get the chance to choose which company you want to sync with HubSpot. So that makes it really easy. Now for the last part of this video or bonus, I'm going to show you my social selling dashboard that I built with the information that Hublead provides for us within HubSpot. Let's get into it. So here I'll show you a couple of reports that I built with the information that Hublead provides within HubSpot. So the first one I did is contacts created from LinkedIn. Um, here you can see I created a report by day um, of the different contacts created, different new contacts created um, from LinkedIn using Hublead's integration. Um, obviously when you click these, I'm not gonna do this right now because this is actually a live environment so it will show uh, the different contacts. But when we click these, we can see the detailed contact information um, right there as well. Then here we can see the different LinkedIn invitations that I sent because it will also sync that information with HubSpot as well. Uh, here you can see the accepted LinkedIn invitations also by day, and then the contacts engage on LinkedIn as well. And obviously since we have this information in here, you can do even more fun stuff, like for example, marking deals um, in the deals dashboard where you are not doing any social selling yet. And this might be a really interesting indicator for your sales reps, for example, um, to indicate like, hey, we're working on a deal with this person, but so far you haven't interacted with them on LinkedIn. Um, might be a good idea to open up that extra channel and increase your chances uh, of actually closing this deal. If you want to give Hublead a try, it's available to start for free. I'll add a link in the description down below and I'll also show you the pricing right now. So here you can see the pricing for Hublead. As you can see, you can start for free and you can edit anything in HubSpot on LinkedIn for free. Um, if you use a professional license, which I would recommend, you can use uh, the email credits. You can also edit a HubSpot on LinkedIn, which is available in the starter as well. You can add unlimited contacts from LinkedIn to HubSpot and you can easily sync messages and in-mails from LinkedIn to HubSpot as well. Um, so I definitely recommend using at least the professional version. I think for 25 bucks a month, it's a steal of a deal. I can't tell you like how much time I've wasted copy pasting stuff from LinkedIn to HubSpot, so trust me. Now, if you also want to sync any LinkedIn invitations and add other app integrations, as well as have advanced analytics, so you can get more insights about your team, 
You can also upgrade to the business license, which will give you all of these features. And it also gives you 1200 credits a month to get phone numbers from the leads that you're adding to HubSpot. That was it for this video. If you like this video, click on the video up here about the new HubSpot sales workspace. You're gonna love that video. Um, if there is anything else you would like to see about the HubLead integra integration with HubSpot, let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to make a video about that. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.